to blissby.me integrative holistic health where we are working on the new year new you 2022 challenge we are now on our second last week we have covered a lot of ground over these seven weeks this is week seven and i hope that you are experiencing a difference because this is your experience it's not anybody else's this is your growth this isn't anybody else's this is your desire and your passion so i really hope that you can um can get there and if you need support, I want you to know that I'm here. Today, we're talking about the magic of the gap, G-A-P, from the old you to the new you. There is a, a gap. And I like to think of everything like a rainbow. And I, and, and this is how we, or, you know, the rainbow bridge is often called, our, our heart energy center is called the, the rainbow bridge from our foundational groundedness to our more of our etheric um, upper realms of us. And this old new to you, to, to um, new you falls right in this category. It's like this your arm span from here to here and bringing them together because you are changing your whole field. Your human energy field is changing. What you manifest changes. How you think changes. Your vibrancy, your energy level amplifies. And everything comes to this ascension place up above the heart area, including the heart area. But you see, we can't go up here unless we're fully grounded in the earth here. Otherwise, that can sometimes be depicted as, you know, so that person's really foggy, that person's really airy-fairy, that person's dissociated from their body. It can be a lot of different things. You know, a lot of times when people take forms of recreational drugs or alcohol or whatever, it is to become out of the state. It's a, a different state of being. When you're working to amplify your energy, when you're working to ascend into a new you, is that is uh, that's a power force like no other. So keep going. I, I invite you to keep going. And today we're going to talk about the gap. And there's going to be three questions that I want you to answer today as we step into now formulating, now that we've created the awareness of who you have been and who what parts of you you'd like to change, some tools to allow you to start to visioning that new you even more greater and giving it more more passion, more desire, more value for not only you, but for your, your family, for your, for your children, for, for the world at large. And we're going to explore that in a little visualization again, because I want you to, to experience it at least once here. I can tell you what to do, and I can hope to heck that you're going to go and leave and do it. But I want you to experience it here first so that you have more of a desire to want to explore it again and again. And I'm like every, you know, three times a day, every day, whatever it is, whatever you feel called to do, what's your passion to really get this to come into fruition? And that is the most important part. So let's get started. I want you to feel your feet on the floor or you know wherever, whatever piece of furniture you are sitting on or laying on. I still want you to feel that support. So if you're laying on a bed, I want you to feel the support of the bed or the couch. If your feet are, are, are touching the ground, they're on the floor. I want you to feel your feet on the floor. Really feel your feet on the floor. Engage all four points of your feet. And I want you to imagine this this root, these tree roots going down into the central core of the earth. It's just so beautiful and energetic. It's a crystalline core in the earth and the earth is actually emitting energy. So I really want you to know that this is not make-believe stuff. It's a measured energy. It's a Schumann resonance. It's what it's called. And, and it is a rhythm, just like our heartbeat is a rhythm. And trees and, and plants and all sentient beings have a rhythm. Even the table or whatever furniture piece that is around you has a rhythm because the only reason that it's being held together is because all these molecules, these atoms and stuff are forming this figure, this, this, this condensed um, 
um, solidness. It comes from the waveform and it comes into matter. What we are working with is the waveforms. It's much easier to move a waveform than it is a huge boulder rock on the mountain. You see, we have this ability. So feel your feet on the floor, drop those tree roots down, 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 all the way through the rock and the slate and through the, the, the liquid portion, the molten, drop it right down towards that crystalline core and use that as your anchor. Imagine your tree roots or etheric feet wrapping around that central core of the earth and feel anchored and know it to be true. Feel that connectedness. Simply by your intention. This is a, a lot about it is an, an intention. And today we're going to go into the aspiration of the intention. It's one thing to have intention and have goals from that intention, but to create that desire and that passion in a more somatic, embodied sense is what we're going for today. Now allow that earth energy, it's often seen as red, allow that earth energy to come up through your feet, filling your full feet up into your legs and up into your hips and allow it to fill your full, full torso and take your breath right down to that lower abdomen area, that deep diaphragmatic breath that we learned and allow it to meet that energy. And as you inhale, inhale it up like you're sucking it up a straw right up to the top of your head. And when you exhale, allow it to fill every cell in your body, all right down your arms to your fingertips. Feel it fill everything. And as we take another breath, we're going to breathe it up again, even further up, 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 that beautiful earth energy. We're gonna allow it to come out the top of our head and like a waterfall, 360 degrees, even take your hands up. I want you to just run your hands through your field and see if you can feel your field as you breathe out and exhale this earth energy into your field. And what it does is it, it's kind of like a little, um, what do you call those little dust busters or whatever, little um, dusters. And you're just dusting your field of static and see if you notice a difference. These are wonderful little tips of the iceberg clues and uh, tips for health and healing. And now we're going to come into our heart. That place, that bridge, imagine this is the bridge between you, the old you and the new you. I want you just to come in and just rock a little bit back and forth and center into this. When we center into an intention, when we center into um, aligning with the truth of who we are, this calls in all our energy. And you might have, without even knowing it, or you you, you likely have, <laughs> I can almost guarantee that you do, have projected energy out into the world. And this is the time of working with you. We want to bring it in to you. We want you to use these resources. Sometimes we give too much away, and it can be as simple as worrying about somebody. I want to remind you that when we take a look at the spectrum, worry is on the more fear spectrum. When we offer confidence in holding that person able to heal, holding that person to able to get through a tough time, then we, we give that, that confidence, that, that projection of you can do it. You've got this. I'm sending you love. I know I'm holding space for you as opposed to worry. So when we're looking at the old you, we want to look at the old you with love, not with shame, blame, or judgment. We hold that old you with the same love that we're going to hold the new you. And that's what we're going to bring up into this region as we center and then we're going to center and we're going to align. We're going to take it up, out into the higher self, the other intelligence. And we're going to ask for support and we're going to bring that support in. And we're going to set that intention, that super highway to that new you, that higher self you, that higher vibration you. So let's do that now as we center into your heart. Give that old you so much love, 
So much love. Thank you for making it this far. Let's fortify this. Let's nourish this. Let's remember who you are and why you are here. The two most important questions, and we're going to go on to to the three next questions that will allow you to experience this even more. So when we sent that center into that, we almost can find when we close our eyes and be careful because if you're feeling dizzy, please open your eyes and just focus on a spot and allow yourself now to align up through the solar system. Imagine going, traveling this super highway. You are creating, you're the creator here. You're creating this super highway through the solar system, through the Milky Way into the cosmos. And you'll know when you get there, you'll just know. And often you can bring both hands over your head as well. It's kind of called your ID point up here. Yes, we do have antennas. We do. It, it's called our energy field, and it expands, expands past our body. And that has a vibration. That is like your cell phone number. Now allow that all the way up into the cosmos. You might even feel a little click if you move your head a little bit. You might feel a little click. And Often I call it the place of many names, God, creator, source, energy, higher self, higher consciousness, whatever works for you, you are the boss. And allow permission to receive this golden white light energy down this super highway and into the crown of your head. That fontanelle, even though it's covered over, is still with us, I believe. And I believe that is our source for finding and and um calling in the energy sources from other intelligence. Allow this to come into your full head and feel this gold and white light. Feel the illuminant luminosity behind your eyes and bring it down into your throat and down into your chest and your arms simultaneously to your fingers. Bring it back in again to your heart. And as you take a deep breath, on the exhale, just allow it then to fill the rest of your body down to your abdomen, filling all your organs and your hips and your thighs and your knees, your calves and your feet. I want you to feel the difference. This is a really wonderful place to ask questions and listen for the answers. This is also a fabulous place to request support and we're going to take it into those three questions right now, right from this place, because we want to be grounded, centered, and aligned in that frequency of you. Feel the field of you. Feel the body of you. What do you notice? This is always available to you. I encourage you to do this every single morning. Even from your bed, imagine your feet going down to the center core of the earth, like little gumby feet. I want you to come into that experience of you, that new you. And that's what it is. The first question is, going into the new you and going into this new year, what do you want to experience? And just gently close your eyes. And you can call up a screen kind of like right in front of your forehead, kind of like on the horizon of your of your eye gaze out. And you might see just a white screen. And you might not. But just use that as your mini projector if that works for you. Or you might just absolutely sense it with your whole body. This is like calling on your sensory organs and seeing what is your strongest sensory organ and trying to strengthen them all. Whether it's your sight with your eyes closed or your visioning 
or your smell or your taste or your hearing or your knowing. And that what is it that you want to experience? I'll give you some ideas. I'm one step ahead of you because I'm doing this work at the same time as you are. I love doing this work every year. So, you know, what do you what do you want to experience? Do you want to experience more love? Now, when you think of something like I want to experience more love, add the why. Add the deepest why. I want to experience more love with my intimate partner, or I want to experience more love with a intimate partner, a partner. Maybe you don't have one yet. And why? Because I want to, I want to live a more fulfilled and content life. And I want to somebody have somebody else enjoy that fulfilled and content life with me. You know, I want to experience more travel, whatever that looks like, even even if it's in your own city, in your own neighborhood, or maybe you want to watch more travel documentaries, or maybe you do have the ability to travel and take that upon yourself to do that. And why? Because I want to share more love with this world, because this world needs more love. I want to share more fun and laughter with my children or my partner. I want to learn more about different cultures and how how beautiful that they are and their reverence for what their passion is in their culture. I want to experience more insights and growth. Maybe you want to stay connected with, you know, expanding yourself further and participating and taking and making an investment in you to create more growth and education and allow yourself to step into more greater realms of of knowingness and confidence and critical thinking. The list is so long. Maybe you want to be more healthy. What does that look like? Maybe you want to take, um, eat less meat and eat more vegetables. Maybe you want to grow a garden in the spring. It's going to come fast. We plant our first seeds in March and here in the, in the West coast. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to be a a speaker or, or a teacher or an educator. What does that look like? What, why, why do you want to do that? What do you want to share? We each have special unique gifts. And then I want you to write all this down. I want you to write all this down. The second question is, where do you want to see your growth? The first was experience. What do you want to experience? And the second is growth. Why? Why do you want to grow? I want to grow my business. Why? Because I know that what I'm sharing is so important and I am here. My bigger why am I here is to assist the world in transforming themselves into a higher vibrancy, higher frequency, enlightened being. Where we get put on our thinking caps and go, is this true for me? Is this my truth? I want to grow in quantum healing and I want to share it with more people, the value of the innate healing mechanisms within our body. I want to grow in quantum healing. What do you want to grow in? Where do you want to see your growth? I want to become enlightened quicker, faster, so that I can enlighten others quicker and faster in this world. Maybe you want to grow your friendship base. As you change in coming from the old new to the new you, chances are some friends may fall away. And some friends may judge you 
And if they do, that judgment is theirs. It's not yours. What somebody thinks about you is a projection of themselves. How do you want to grow? Maybe you want to grow for you in your love for your children or your parents so that they feel that love and support and they feel that higher energy, that higher vibe. And you can all mirror and support one another in this quest, this question. It's a quest. And then I want you to write that down too. And then contribution. How do you want to contribute in this new, as this new you, in this new year to the world? It's true. When you heal you, you heal all. When you have an experience of bliss, offer that experience out into the world. Say, oh my gosh, I've never felt like this before. As you experience the change, it's like, oh, I showed up so well in that moment in time. That's truly who I want to be. I am that person. And I want to share that experience of my bliss that I'm feeling right now for the work that I've done. And I want to share it so that a whole world can feel it with me right now. It's that simple. Maybe you want to contribute by living your calling into this crazy world that we're in right now. I really encourage everybody to start to step into your calling. The work that I do naturally brings this out of to what your calling is because every time you take a step towards what it is that you want your soul is is with you it says they are awoke they're awoke they're awake yes let's do this and perhaps you want to create more heaven on earth by role modeling what heaven on earth looks like for you and contribute to recycling more or contribute to um, creating cleanup days or adopting your street or anything like that. Sharing the knowledge that you gain on how you can recycle. I recently shared a post on how to recycle your Christmas lights if they're burnt out because I don't want to see all those burnt out Christmas lights going into the garbage or holiday lights. Take a look at where and how you want to contribute and why. Add the why. When you add the why, it creates the desire and the passion. And write it down. And next, I'd love for you to even um, put it into your phone under the notes or put it on a Word or Pages document or something that allows you to print it off or even take, more importantly, even your written word and post it somewhere. We're going to be working with this in the in January. I have a very special, special uh, workshop that I'm going to be hosting on January 9th for a half day. Uh, uh, and it's a, a bringing through your aspiration, even more aspiration and more inspiration. So block off the day and block off the time and um, and watch for, uh, we'll come into that, that announcement. I, I believe it's actually on my bio in my Instagram, so you can pull it up there. Um, so I hope you found that this was helpful. And listen again to this and allow yourself to walk through this again and again. And I look forward to hearing, having the opportunity to hear or even see if you're going to participate in the workshop, online workshop, that um, what has come about so that we together can live this next 12 months in a higher vibe, in a higher intention, in a higher aspiration, in a higher manifestation, because um, I've got a lot of great um, uh, stuff coming up in 2022. 
Thank you for being here. If you need support, I uh, I have uh, my working hours are available on, on my online booking at www.blissbee.me. I would love to work with you either in distance or in person um, and to get your body configured, your energy systems configured and work with any healing that needs to come up so that we can get through these blockages, get through this judgment, get through this lethargy and, and step back into 2022. As you know, the word for my year is it's showtime, action, lights, camera, action. And how am I going to show up in all the light of me? What action am I going to take for my soul on behalf of myself and the whole world? And how is the camera, the world, going to see me? How am I going to see me? And how am I going to reflect that in a way that heals humanity? Thank you so much for being here. Let's pull a card to give us even more direction for today and for this week. I'll see you next Monday. And um, we'll do a bit of a recap and I'll let you know all the special offers that are coming up with so much love. Your successes can truly, can be truly amazing now. Your successes can be truly amazing now. Yes. Yes. This is our year. This is your year. Let's get excited and let's be the change we want to see in the world. I love you so much. Bye for now.